I'm cooking the hard boiled egg and since uh, uh, it's already uh, boiling I'm going to turn off the heat or the fire and then I need to cover that for around four to six minutes so uh, the texture would also vary on how hard you want your hard boiled egg okay out of the hard boiled egg that I have cooked I actually uh, decided to create a chicken mommy uh, recipe so uh, with that I do have the dried uh, noodles the chicken uh, onion spring garlic as well as I have also my uh, chicken broth soup so I'm going to season that with black pepper iodized salt and uh, ginger done uh, with my finished product uh, and I use the hard boiled egg as a topping for the chicken uh, mommy that I have uh, uh, cooked. Right now I'm uh, going to cook hash brown. It's a combination of uh, potato, cheese and uh, egg. So with that I have already mixed them uh, all together. I uh, grated the potato and then uh, since I'm already done mixing them all so I'm going to uh, fry the hash brown. Okay I'm done cooking the hash brown. I combined that with bacon and uh, cheese. So here is my uh hash brown combined with uh, bread crumbs, uh, potatoes, cheese and uh, egg. Right now I'm going to uh, make uh, yang chow or fried rice combined with uh, mixed vegetable and I'm going to use uh, black uh, rice as well as one piece of egg which I'm going to scramble. Now I have the egg uh, beaten ready for uh, cooking. So with my hot uh, pan, I'm going to pour the scramble egg. With my scrambled egg, I seasoned that with uh, onion spring and then uh, I'm go just going to uh, turn it to the other side or roll it. But later on, I will be using this to mix with uh, the black rice as well as the mixed veggies. Now I have grated the onion, uh, sorry, I'm, I have grated the egg and then I will be mixing the mixed veggies and then I'm going to mix them again. And I'm going to put my black rice. This is actually a healthy way of black rice as a substitute for the white rice. Now I'm almost done mixing uh, all together. And then this will be ready for serving after. Alright, so I'm done uh, cooking the fried rice and then I combined it actually with the bacon. Side up. So I'm just going to put that on top of uh, the ham and cheese uh, bread. So for the sunny side up, you don't necessarily need to uh, put the fire uh, on a higher level. 
so that it will not uh, burn the egg. So I'm just going to like that. For the sunny side up with the oil that you have, you can actually put that on top of uh, the egg yolk so that it will also get easily uh, cooked since we're, we're not going to turn the, the egg to the opposite side. Sunny side up also, it varies with the, the yolk, uh, the texture that you intend to have. From time to time, you need to lift uh, or elevate the pan so that it will not uh, uh, burn the egg white. All right, now I have my sunny side up egg and then I pair that with ham and uh, bread. I'm going to make the burrito wrap. The ingredients that uh, I'm going to use, uh, I have the grated cheese, I have the cucumber, I have the scrambled egg, spring onions, ham, onions, bell pepper, and uh, the burrito wrap. So uh, I'm going to get things ready here and then I'll show you how to prepare shortly. So for the burrito, you need to uh, heat the wrap. Uh, on the back end, uh, on the top part. So for this uh, burrito wrap, I put the bur uh, wrap on the bottom part and then I add the uh, egg as well as the ham. And then I'm going to season the other uh, ingredients or put the other ingredients on top. Okay, finally I have my uh, finished uh, product which is the uh, burrito wrap or ham burrito wrap using the uh, egg in order to uh, add taste to this uh, burrito. Cook the uh, poached egg. So I have one egg uh, and then I'm just going to uh, boil it for short cooking. For my poached egg, I actually, uh, I'm going to use a strainer because I don't have a big uh, ladle in order to uh, get the egg. Okay, so I have already the egg. I'm just waiting for a few more minutes in order to have it uh, cook. So I have already my poached uh, egg. As you can see, it's uh, juicy. Okay, so now you see my um, poached egg. I just add the, the onion spring as a topping to make it look better. I'm now going to uh, cook the steamed egg. So the ingredients that I will be needing, it's the egg, which I have already uh, beaten, and then the onion, pepper. I have also the bacon and onion spring, as well as, uh, it's your option if you would like to add the grated cheese. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, add onion spring on the bottom part then I'm going to uh, put some uh, uh, capsicum or bell pepper
and then onions. And then I'm going to add also the grated uh, bacon. And then I'm going to pour the egg that I had uh, beaten earlier. Okay, so I have grated the cheese also for an added taste. Alright, so since it's already, uh, or I have the boiling water, I'm going to uh, put my um, bowl for this uh, mixture or for steaming of this uh, mixture. So we'll leave it for like uh, five minutes and uh, check from time to time if uh, it's already cooked. For the egg muffin, uh, you'll notice that if it's cooked, when the top part is already solid, but since it's still boiling, uh, and uh, it's still moving on top, meaning to say the top part is not yet cooked, so I'm going to continue uh, cooking for a few more minutes. Alright, so I have my uh, steam egg. It's already cooked. Okay, so with uh, my steam egg, I'm just going to pair that with my raisin uh, bread. Or you can uh, use actually just a plain uh, wheat bread or other type of bread. Uh. Okay, so now I'm going to create a bacon cheese omelet. So it's a combination of egg, bacon, and cheese. And you can uh, put uh, salt as well as uh, pepper in order to uh, season. So with the beaten eggs, I'm going to uh, combine the bacon same thing I'm just going to mix it before I put this in the pan so with my omelet I just set this into a low fire and then from time to time I'm going to elevate the pan in order to avoid burning to scatter the cheese on top so just spread it all over okay so finally I have my cooked omelette with bacon